Hi everybody, Colin from The Bike Dads here, and today we're gonna to talk about the Womb Air. Now this is the same bike as the Womb Off, which I've reviewed in the past. I'll put a link in the description so you can have a quick look at that review. But today I'm gonna to focus on the sole difference of the bikes, and that's this. It's this air fork that they put on the bike to make it more mountain bike adept. So I'm gonna be talking about the Womb Air 4, 5, and 6. So that's the 20 inch, the 24 inch, and the 26 inch version of the bike. They're essentially the same, they're just scaled a little differently. They use very similar geometry in all three sizes, and they cost similar too. They range from $869 to $899. Now my goal today is to give you my impressions of the fork, as well as to give you my impressions of more long-term use with the Womb Off, or the Womb Air in this case. So first things first, why I absolutely love these bikes is it's going to get more kids on a quality mountain bike and get introduced to mountain biking. The price and the build quality of this bike is really, really, really great. Now, that said, who is the kid that's gonna flourish on a bike like this? Well, it's some kid that's new to mountain biking. The geometry is a very easy ride, so it's, it's a low bottom bracket, they sit in the middle of the bike. The handlebar height's a little higher than what you'd see in most mountain bikes, and I'll touch on that in a bit. So it's meant for those kids that probably are just experiencing single track for the first time, and you know what? They wanna rip around the neighborhood too. So these Gateway mountain bikes are light. The 20 inch, well that's 20 pounds. The 24 inch, that's 22 pounds. And the 26 inch, well that's 24 pounds. These are really lightweight bikes for the kids to maneuver. And you also get the benefit of this air fork from RST. Now, the 20 inch gets a 60 millimeter travel fork, the 24 inch gets an 80 millimeter travel fork, and the 26 inch gets a 90 millimeter travel fork. Now at these prices, you get an amazing fork. It's, it's almost hard to believe. The, the fork has external compression adjustments as well as external rebound adjustment. And these dials actually do what they're intended to do at the air pressures you're gonna run with the kids. So the forks are really thought out. It's a 100 millimeter spacing with a 15 millimeter through axle, so it's really sturdy. So we've got this great performing fork, we have a really lightweight bike, quality build, good components. What are some of the things that I might change? Well, there's a few of them. On the subject of the fork, what they've done is they have a unique steer tube sizing, so it's one and one eighth that tapers down to one inch. I'm not sure why they've done this. They, they do this on their regular bikes as well, I think with their rigid forks, and maybe you, you save a bit of weight, but it's another standard that if you ever, you know, wanted to try a different fork on the bike, um, you couldn't because n I don't know any steer tubes that are tapered like this, one and one eighth down to one inch. Minor gripes include things like the grips. Over time, well right away actually I noticed the grips just start spinning when you give it any sort of grip strength on it. And my kids, I could tell right away the grip started moving in on the bar on day one. So they're really not on there good enough if you're gonna be mountain biking to any extent. That's a quick easy fix. You can get grips cheap off Amazon and the bar standard sizing. The other minor gripe is, well they don't have a quick release at the seat post come stock. So that's an easy fix too. I just ordered one on Amazon for five bucks and it fixes the problem. But it'd be nice just to have the quick release right from the start. So what's it like out on the trail when the kids ride it? Well, it's a very great bike. My kids are more on the advanced end of the spectrum, I'd say, when it comes to mountain biking. They're a little ahead of kids typical of their age, but they had a blast on these bikes. They really pushed them to their limits, I'd say. And where those limits are is partly in due to the handlebar height, which I noted earlier. So the head tube of this bike is fairly long and it puts the stack pretty high. So if you, had a, if you have advanced kids that are mountain biking a lot or they're very aggressive style on their 16 inch bike and you're looking to get them into mountain biking, this bike, the handlebars, you can't weight them that much compared to some of the other bikes that are out there. So you can't weight the front end where you get traction. So this is more for beginners just introducing to mountain biking where they're gonna be more upright body position. If they're really advanced, you definitely want something with a lower stack. My preference would be to have a shorter head tube and use spacers to adjust the stack height, but there isn't much room. Their spacers are pretty much non-existent on the wombs here, so you're really stuck with this bar height. So there you have it. This is a great 68, 69 head angle type bike that's quick turning, easy to maneuver, it's so lightweight, 
fantastic for those that are just getting introduced to mountain biking, riding that low incline type single track or cross country style terrain. This bike is fantastic. And we've had no problems, my, minus those minor gripes I talked about, which were quick, easy fixes. I think any kid that is gonna start mountain biking would enjoy one of these Womb Airs. And you know what, at this price, it's a hard to beat entry level mountain bike. For more information on the Womb Airs and all kids bikes in general, have a look at our website, www.thebikedads.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all the latest reviews and updates on kids bikes. Woo!